what what was the process like of figuring out Jorge's uh, ginger and like the the two together? Well, the, I have to say this has been the most collaborative process I've had like in acting on com- in commercial like uh, television and film. This is immense. I mean, I came in with like books and looks and ideas, and they're like, okay. Um, the great part about Ginger was that they were really adamant about Ginger being like a baby queen. She's just starting out, so they didn't want to hit all right. Like, she's not RuPaul Drag Race ready yet. Right. She's just starting out. So that actually gave us, like, a lot to play with. And you can kind of trace, like, how she gets better as the season goes. Like, you'll notice her eyebrows get better. You'll notice, like, the wigs get better, the contour. Like, we were very conscious of, like, what to do in just enough. And so she starts very old school drag, you know, in a, in a sequined gown and a bob. And then she kind of elevates herself and she starts to kind of really take from other queens. And, and we have a bunch of really great drag queens on the show, one of which is the amazing Head of Lettuce, who is like a New York City icon, right? Yeah. Probably a national treasure. Shangela comes on our show, who I'm like, I just can't believe like I work with Shangela. We had so much fun talking shit back, you know, stage and stuff. It was so there are all these these um these kind of like drag icons coming in and out of the show, and Ginger's really She's like a sponge. She's sucking up all of it. And let me tell you, Shanti gave me some tricks. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Hallelujah. Can you can you divulge? Like, what does that conversation look like? Do you go and ask? Does Shangela come to you and say, "Look, I see what you're doing, but I know how I can help you"? Like, how does that relationship? No, Shangela was very respectful. Can yeah. Understand? We were just kind of like friends, and then I I straight up asked her. I was like, "Sis, like, how you do? What about this?" And so she gave me some advice about wigs, um, about like how to keep them on and like what kind of materials to use. And I was like, "Oh wow, I didn't know that." I'm not trying to divulge all her secrets, you know. Of course not. I don't want to give away the eleven herbs and spices. Right, I'm just right, right. curious. But it was cool. Like it was just so, we had such a great great like vibe from the beginning and so I would just like ask and she would she would give it to me I mean DJ is he and she's she to me she's Shanji um she just would give me tips and it was really cool and like there was you know it was always like if one of us kind of tripped up the other one would kind of pick it up and stuff we had a really great scene where we're like fighting dancing and voguing at the same time it was really cool 